Summer officially started, but within the Arctic Circle, the 24 hours of sunlight that coincides with the summertime weather has been around for more than a month. I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and in Barrow, Alaska, for example, on the northernmost tip of our 49th state, the sun rose in mid-May, and it won't set again until the beginning of August, which begs the question, what do you do with all of this daylight? Lucky for you, we came up with a list of eight things to do when the sun never sets. Wear sunglasses at night because you have to. Not only does the sun never set, but it also stays relatively low to the horizon, which means you're almost always looking into the sun and it's never really overhead like it is in the lower latitudes. Put the vitamin D away in storage along with your winter parka. With all that sunshine, you can get all the natural vitamin D you need just by going outside. Just don't throw them out completely because in a few months, it'll be darkness 24 seven and you're gonna need that vitamin D back. Invest heavily in solar. You blew through your whole savings, keeping the lights on and staying warm throughout the entire winter. Now you need an alternative energy source to keep things going through the summer. Take advantage of a nonstop energy source while you can. Sunbathe at 3 a.m. Why? Because you can. Apply and reapply the sunscreen. Otherwise, you'll be sunburnt by midnight, if not before. Convince friends at work it's 1 p.m. when it's really 1 a.m. Imagine the panic in their voice when you tell them they've slept halfway through the workday and they missed that big meeting in the morning. Caution, you may not have many friends at work after this. Pull an all-dayer or go day clubbing because you can't pull an all-nighter or go night clubbing when night never comes. Plus, you should probably buy some of your coworkers a drink after that stunt you pulled calling them at 1 a.m. Get blackout curtains. After all this fun, you're eventually going to need to get some sleep. And study after study has shown people who live in high latitudes get less sleep during the summer months. Part of that is because the body's natural clock gets disturbed with all that extra daylight. Making it dark in your room is key to getting some rest. So what am I missing? Alaskans, Icelanders, Northern Norwegians, I'm talking to you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and let me know in the comments.